So many fun things to do around Pittsburgh for the holidays. Some things are family traditions, like seeing the miniature railroad display at the Carnegie Science Center. The Science Center adds something new to its train display every year, and this year, it was a Permanis restaurant, but our next guest says that's not the only reason to visit the Science Center this time of year. Myla Jill Rybel is here with us this morning telling us what on what else is going on as the holidays approach. Well, and a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, and I got to start off with I got to give a little shout out. I've got my Yoda T-shirt on <laughs> because, of course, the big thing is tonight our new Rango's Giant Cinema will be premiering Star, Star Wars, Wars: The Last Jedi. I had the chance to see a uh, preview of the show, and listen, I know I work there. I know I'm literally being paid to say this, but it is absolutely true. The, the theater, it's phenomenal. It's amazing. It is a wonderful way to see that movie. It's a movie that you can take. If you've got young Star Wars fans, you can enjoy it. Um, we're showing it in 3D as well. Very and I've cool. got to say, I've never seen 3D like this because it's not obtrusive. It's, it's or intrusive, I should say. It really just sort of enhances the whole experience. That's so, really great. I, you know, along with that, of course, that goes nicely <laughs> in with the theming for some of the events that we have coming up. So, a 21 plus night is coming up. That's right. December December 22nd, we're going to be having our 21 plus ugly sweater party. Who so we are, yes, we are encouraging people to wear their very festive holiday wear. Um, we'll even have like little uglification stations. We have you a few, you know, little things. things that you could possibly add if you <laughs> wanted to to your sweater to make it pretty. We're going to be doing brand new for this one drone races. We're going That's to so have uh, several drone companies coming in and doing little races. People can observe and see how they work. They're going to be giving you some of the science behind drones. And of course, we're going to have uh, some holiday punch that's going to be spiked with liquid nitrogen. 21 plus. That's right. We're going to be doing marshmallow science. And we have a few cool crafts just in time for the holidays. One of the things, uh, as you know, we have the new Rango's Star Giant Wars, Cinema. Right. Star, but this one here, these are actually bows, present toppers made from our old OmniMax film. I was going to say, what are, you know, we talked about that over the summer, what you would do with all of the old film. The answer is turn it into festive <laughs> bows for all of your uh, movie fans or people who just like the nostalgia. So we're recycling that, we're upcycling. And then the other thing that we're going to be showing people how to do is what do you think that is? I have no well, idea. Well, that is what happens. I'll, I'll let you hold this one because you can help okay. me unfold it. So what we actually will be showing people how to do is go ahead and unfold it. Okay. Is how to create a snowflake. You know paper snowflakes when you right, cut them right. out. Right, right. Yeah, I haven't this made one in years. Well, but. you can create a stormtrooper snowflake. If you take a look at that, you can see it is a storm. I'm looking at yours because it's taking me a while. That's to okay. This. That's why. What well, we'll. This is why we pre-cut them because they take a little while to cut. But we're going to be showing. You can actually get them. They have little patterns on them so that How you can cool follow. That is. I also have one over here that isn't quite 100% complete, but this one over here is C-3PO. So we will be showing you how to do snowflakes just like this. It's the sort of thing that you can take home and then put on your window to show your love of Star Wars. You're talking another language to me. We were talking about this this morning. I've never seen a Star Wars film. You know what? This would be a great time to start. Might okay. I suggest you watch <laughs> all of the movies up to this point and then come and see The Last Jedi. That's a lot of homework. CBO3? C-3PO. Oh, right. And you know what? Don't Naturally. forget you can get your picture taken. <laughs> with him because he <laughs> is in our robot hall of fame. Great. One other thing we wanted to let people know about tonight. We have this brand new adult program and it's called Two Scientists Walk Into a Bar. This sounds interesting. Yes. Yeah, so what we're going to be doing is across the city we have 15 participating bars, uh, 30 scientists, and what they're going to do is they're going to sit down, they're going to have a little button just like this, and it will say I'm, you know, two scientists walk into a bar. There'll be a sign letting you know that the scientist is there and happy to talk to you, and you can ask them anything. They're mm -hmm. going to have different areas of expertise, but they want to be challenged, and so we have a complete listing of where they're going to be on our website. And if you happen to be near um, a pub that happens to have a scientist or two, go ahead, stop down, ask some questions. I may have some questions for them. It's a really fun program. Okay, so the next thing, we've been kind of promoting this. Mess Fest is coming yes, up. Yes, absolutely. In the beginning of January. January 1. That's the messiest way to start off the new year. <laughs> I'm glad it's your kitchen. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> I know. Well, normally, in years past, you're looking at on the uh, the screen there, that's oobleck. Everybody loves, oh, actually, that might be slime. Sorry. There's so many gooey things. You've got oobleck. You've got slime. We've got pudding pie eating uh, mm. contests and races. We even have uh, like finger painting and things like that. And so in years past, we you know have brought in there's some oobleck for you right there, which is a really fun non-Newtonian fluid. There's always science <laughs> behind the mess. And yes, it does make a giant mess. We've done that a few times, but this year we wanted to highlight something a little different. So what we is that? that is you no, know, we've done egg drops before. Right. So mm -hmm. that's what we're actually going to do is we're going to create a container. You're going to engineer a container. 
okay. to protect an egg, and we are going to drop it on live television. Oh. So we have some different materials. We'll have materials available. We've got coffee okay. filters. We've got cotton balls. So here is your egg. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm some cotton balls yes, and the filters. Sounds like here. a great idea. I'm going to maybe use nice a little cotton, cushion. Uh, coffee filters as well. Maybe some cotton balls. And what we'll do is like we'll have this all these. This is not a hard boiled egg. No, it is not a hard boiled egg. So no, Apologies no pressure. Apologies to the studio. No pressure. Okay, I'm going to try. I'm going to try that. And then I of course have some tape ready. And okay. we'll have all of these different materials available. For people to try, but the one thing we'll be doing at the Science Center. All right, you think you're good? You want some tape? Here, yes, let me get you a few pieces of tape. Okay, thank There's you. There's a piece of tape for you. We will actually not just be doing a drop where we, uh, you know, take it over to a ledge like we're dropping right now. Mm -hmm. We'll be doing an egg zip line. Yes, I know. How about that? We will be from the top of our science stage to the bottom. You actually will clip your egg and launch it. All right, you think? I think that's good. Think I, that's good. I don't know, but I I'm hoping so. I might get one more piece of tape for mine. Wow, we'll look see at what happens. Yours. You're the scientist. You know. Well, you know what though? I I, mm -hmm. I do a lot of things, but this is really engineering. You have to think about how to do this. So we're gonna okay. we're gonna go ahead on live television. We're and gonna drop, drop it over them? the edge. Just try and drop it flat, and then we'll go okay. and see what happens. One, two, three. Okay, I will go and rescue them. Okay. I'm a little scared. Let's find out. Got one, got two. And so where will you be zip lining these? Well, we on our science stage actually have a lot of space. At the top, it's about uh, two to three stories. And we've actually set up a little zip line. Uh, one of the fellows who uh, uh, actually runs our, did it, did it not break? It, it just it cracked oh! ever so slightly. Oh no, it's pretty cracked. That's okay because although mine didn't crack, now I'm not, you know, that's fine because you know what we're doing? We're experimenting. And one of the things that you are trying to teach kids here through the fun is that, okay, so that didn't work that time. Do you want to go back and try again? Learn from what you did. Like right. see, maybe next time it's like, okay, so maybe I want to add some padding around the top or right. maybe I need a little bit more underneath. The whole point is to try and get kids to think about science in a different and creative way and you know what if we're really lucky then we won't have too much egg on our faces <laughs> what I love though is really it's not just kids but you're including adults and getting them involved too so we've got something for everyone That's this season right. thank you so much for joining us this morning Myla and for more on the ugly sweater party on December 22nd and other adult programming at the Carnegie Science Center as well as mess fest for the whole family visit the Carnegie Science Center website you'll find the link at kdka.com ptl